Welcome back to the show. My name is James Rule XRP and I have another fantastic video for you. Wow, today I'm going to show you an XRP Ledger project that is working up the ranks that I'm really excited about. I'm, I'm always excited to see new projects built on top of the XRP Ledger because XRP is one of my top holdings. We're also going to look at some news. We're going to look at how California voters are most likely to vote for pro-crypto candidates. And this was mentioned by Coinbase, the exchange. Let's have fun. Let's get into it. Before we get started, follow me on X at Rule XRP. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a crypto teacher. I told you so. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, the James Rule Crypto Show on YouTube, and I'll keep you updated every single day. All right. So I was born in 1966. And, and back then, I mean, technology in the last 50 plus years has just blown up. You know, when I was a kid, there wasn't cell phones, there wasn't computers. There were computers, but they were the size of offices or, you know, huge computers. There was no such thing as a laptop. Well, here's a video from 1974. I was eight years old. And it says, one day a computer will fit on the desk. In 1974, they're like, no way, this will never happen. It's like technology today. You know, we we see the internet uh, has already come to full fruition. We see that digital assets and cryptocurrency and blockchain investments are starting to become mainstream, and we're still early. But listen to this video. This just kind of blew me away from 1974. I brought along my son Jonathan, who in the year 2001 will be the same age as I am now. Maybe he will be better adjusted to this kind of world that you're trying to portray. The big difference when he grows up, in fact, if we wanted to wait for the year 2001, is that he will have in his own house, not a computer as big as this, but at least a console to which he can talk to his friendly local computer and get all the information he needs for his everyday life, like his bank statements, his theater reservations, all the information you need in the course of living in a complex modern society. This will be in a compact form in his own house. He'll have a television screen like this here and a keyboard and he'll talk to the computer and get information from it and he'll take it as much for granted as we take the telephone. I wonder though what sort of a life would it be like in social terms? I mean, if our whole life is built around the computer, do we become a computer dependent society and a computer independent individuals? In some ways, but they will also enrich our society because it will make it possible for us to live really anywhere we like. Any businessman, any executive could live almost anywhere on earth and still do his business through a device like this. And this is a wonderful thing. It means we want him to be stuck in cities, we better live out in, in the country or wherever we please and still carry on complete interaction with human beings as, as well as with other computers. Wow. I mean, that was 1974. And when I was in high school, when I graduated in 1985, I had no idea that I was going to be able to carry a phone on my person, a calculator, a computer, games, uh, trading apps, apps in general. And I know a lot of people are dependent on phones and apps and, and all the above. I look at my crypto uh, price projections every day. It seems like every five minutes. But yeah, I mean, technology in the last 50 plus years has just flourished. And, you know, where are we going to be in the next 100 years? It's going to be incredible. Let's take a look at the numbers. Let me see if I get it to come up here. Coinpaprika.com, total market cap $1.861 trillion, Bitcoin at $47,665, Ethereum a little over $2,500, XRP is around $0.52.3. Cents. You got Cardano, Stellar, HBAR, VeChain, Algo, Flare Network, $0.03, cents. Flare Network, $0.03, cents. Songbird, uh, one point, almost 1.4 cents. I'm really excited about those projects and I'm really excited about the project I'm going to show you here in a few minutes. Let's keep going. All right. Congratulations to Miss JB on X. She goes by at Miss Jade underscore B. She creates some incredible artwork. I was in a chat with her and Barry C. here a while back, and she made this incredible artwork for me. Check it out, holding the cup with XRP. And then right here, here's a guy standing here with an XRP coffee cup. I have my coffee every morning. I don't look like that, but 
you know, she made this for me, sent it to me on instant messenger. And I really appreciate it. The reason I bring her up is because the wave of innovation, which is going to take place in Australia this year with many members of the community, many developers, uh, she won a contest. She won an art contest. She actually designed this cute koala bear on the surfboard, Wave of Innovation NFTs. And uh, she won the contest, and she deserves it 100%. She's awesome. She does great. Congratulations to you. Let's keep going. All right, here we go. When I made my last video, I had tagged xCloud. I, talk, I said I'm going to talk about them, and I apologize because I missed the tab on the last video. Well, xCloud is now ranked number 14 on the XRP ledger. You can set the trust line to xCloud here at xrpl.to. The current price is 0 0.0010. You can set the trust line by clicking here. I'll leave the link below. But, uh, you know, as we look at different projects building on the XRP ledger, XRP is by far my top holding for the past seven years. And XRPL or XRP ledger projects have been my focus lately. Check out at xcloud xrpl discover the best rewards in ai related nfts on the xrp ledger here's a brief description client development service the main problem is that the xrp ledger needs more attention their solution is to transfer transform ideas into successful crypto projects not only at xrpl to reach a broader audience this approach aims to make xrp ledger more successful and popular a portion of the fees will be invested in xcloud and burned achieving this will also make it equally appealing for investors more info here at xrp xcloud.com you can read their white paper go over all the details hopefully i'll be interviewing these guys here in the near future uh, they have a lot of things to cover, a lot of ground to cover, and I'm really excited that they contacted me uh, to give me some of this information. Keep doing what you're doing. All right, in the news, California voters are embracing pro-crypto candidates in 2024. This is by Coinbase. This article is on Cointelegraph, thanks to Turner Wright, the author. February 9th, 2024, the crypto exchange cited data suggesting that roughly 8.2 million people in California own digital assets, the majority of which are more likely to support pro-crypto lawmakers. Pro-crypto lawmakers. You know, unfortunately, members of Congress, representatives, there's no term limits. We have 70 year olds, 80 year olds that are not keen to this new technology. They're all banks, no play, all banks, no crypto. But now it, uh, Coinbase is stating that Californians are starting to, are wanting to vote pro crypto. It says United States based cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase predicted crypto focused voters in California would play a meaningful role in the 2024 elections based on ownership and opinions of digital asset policies. On February 9th blog post, Coinbase cited data from business intelligence firm Morning Consult, which suggested that 27% of Californians, roughly 8.2 million people, own crypto. The majority of crypto holders in the state, 78%, say policymakers should favor new, innovative, and disruptive technologies, and that many would vote for this who do. California crypto owners overwhelmingly report that they would be more likely to support candidates that hold pro-crypto and blockchain positions, said Coinbase. Almost four in five California crypto owners say that they would be more likely to support a candidate who supports the U.S. crypto industry as a job creator and source of U.S. geopolitical strength. This is the post from Coinbase. I'm going to leave all the links below. It says Super Tuesday is just one month away. And the 27% of California adults who own crypto will have a major role to play in determining the future of crypto. Read more about why California's crypto constituency matters. And here it is. This is the blog. I'll leave a link below. 
California voters stand with crypto. It says that 8.2 million California adults or 25% of Californians own digital assets, according to the previous data. New polling by Taluna shows that California crypto owners represent the next generation of California voters with 40% falling between the ages of 18 and 34. It said polling also found that in California, crypto owners are almost equally likely to have an income above $75,000 and below $75,000. I'm not going to go into the details because it will take up much of this video, but you know, I'm really excited. You know, we have to vote for the right people. We have to vote for the younger generation. We have to vote for pro technology, pro crypto, grow these technologies, not just to become beneficial in our wealth, but also to become beneficial around the world where these technologies are going to flourish. You know, United States, around the world, you know, we're all working together to become a better world. And, you know, that's what it's going to take. So get excited. If you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel, The James Rule Crypto Show. I have many videos. I'm going to be doing many interviews here in a few weeks. Uh, I'll have more time to make more videos, but uh, check it out. If you get a chance, subscribe. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Have a wonderful weekend. Let's check out the Super Bowl tomorrow and have a wonderful week. My name is James Rule XRP, and guess what? I told you so.